Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics License. Today I have prepared a very easy problem for you. As usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the problem, try to answer each of the questions, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the problem. Below are the genotypes at 3 loci for sample of 6 individuals. And question A, what are the allele frequencies for each locus? Imagine that uh, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes. Chromosomes goes in pairs. Uh, one would be inherited from the mother side, another from father side. So we have 23 pairs, total number 46 chromosomes. And uh, all the chromosomes, that is homologous, goes in pairs. So uh, as you see, one color would stand for, for example, maternal chromosome, another for paternal homologous chromosome. And here we may have locus that uh, just a fragment on the chromosome. And here we may have uh, gene, for example, gene D. And on the maternal chromosome, we may have allele capital D here and on the paternal chromosome also allele that is capital D here and uh, allele is just a form of the gene so even single change in nucleotide sequence would give us a new allele so in this example at the locus D we have two uh, analogous alleles and in different locus we may have another set of alleles for the different gene, for example, gene E. On the maternal chromosome, this can be capital uh, allele E, and on the paternal chromosome, we may have recessive allele E. And on the other arm of the chromosomes, here we would have long arm, and here we would have short arm. So here we may have different uh, locus, and here we may have uh, two alleles that can be, for example, small e and small e. But, of course, this uh, loci can be on the three different pairs of chromosomes or on two pairs of chromosomes. So, uh, in our example, we just put them on one chromosome pair. Now let's analyze what we have here in the table. And this is individuals, so one individual, second individual, third individual, and here we have three loci for each individual. Our first question, question A, what are the allele frequencies for each locus? And here we have locus 1, and allele frequencies would be 100%. We would have only one type of allele. So, locus 1, we would have only allele D. And allele D going to be 12 out of 12. Or would equal to 1 or to 100%. Let's now analyze locus 2. And here we see two types of alleles. One would be recessive allele. Another one would be dominant allele. So let's count how many recessive alleles we have here. And we have 1 and 2 out of 12. So locus 2 recessive allele E would equal to 2 out of 12 or 1 out of 6. If we need a decimal number we just have to divide 1 by 6 and if we need an answer as percentage, we have to multiply by 100. And at the same locus, we have allele that is capital E and frequency of the capital allele E would be 10 out of 12. And we also can say that this is going to be 5 out of 6. And this is locus 2. This is locus 1. At locus 3, we have also 
two alleles that is dominant allele F. So dominant allele F. And let's count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six out of twelve or one half would be dominant allele F. And at the same locus we have recessive allele F that is also going to be 6 out of 12 or 1 half or 50%. So this is locus 3 and let me uh, once again circle answers. If you need once again answers as decimal number you have just to divide uh, these numbers and if you need an answer in percentage form you just have to multiply by 100 and you're going to get uh, answer as percentage. So question B what are the frequencies of the genotypes for each locus and uh, once again for the locus 1 we have only one genotype that is D D capital D capital D so locus 1 uh, genotype frequencies would be 100% genotype D capital D capital D for the locus 2 we have uh, one genotype that is homozygous dominant and another heterozygous genotype we have one two heterozygous out of six so uh, genotype that is capital E and small e would be 2 out of 6 or 1 third and genotype that is capital E capital E would equal to uh, 4 out of 6 or 2 out of 3 and in last uh, locus we have three genotypes one would be heterozygous another one would be homozygous recessive and the third one would be homozygous dominant so let's count how many heterozygous um, genotypes we have here so we have one and two out of six so at locus three genotype that is capital F small f or heterozygous we would have 2 out of 6 or 1 third and genotype that is uh, capital F capital F we have 1 2 also 2 capital F capital F homozygous dominant we have 2 out of 6 or 1 third and so genotype we have here homozygous recessive 1 and 2 so small f small f we have 2 out of 6 or 1 third and this is our first locus here is our second locus we have uh, two uh, genotypes here and in third locus we have three genotypes and this is going to be our answers for the third locus here answers for the second locus and here answer for the locus one once again in the first question we have found allelic frequencies we can have two variants of alleles in the deployed organism for the same locus so uh, there can be more than two alleles for example, there can be allele uh, D1, D2, D3, D4, and so on. And they can be present here in different variants, in different sets, but no more than two alleles can be present at the same locus in the diploid organism. So in the first question, we have found uh, frequencies of each allele. And uh, in the second question, we have found uh, frequencies of the genotypes 
and with two alleles we can have three different genotypes. And of course these three genotypes can be present in the different frequencies. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.